You never wanted to be mysterious? I wanted to be mysterious so bad, but... I, I feel like you've been mysterious I've been before. mysterious, yeah. and as a mysterious nigga, it's, it's cool to be real. What do you think happens when we die? Um... I think you just get less real. Like we're dense. Reality is dense. Matter is like super dense. Like we we cry about the human experience so much. Like oh, it's so it's like suffocation to be here. I think the wait list to be in this bitch is super long because we're like we're real. We get to like walk and talk and shit. Imagine you're a spirit, bro. Yeah. Just wait. going behind <laughs> niggas' ears like ah. Like you don't get to you be get like, to be yo, like what's spooky. going on? Like, right. I thought you meant like you become less real, like you become a bitch, nigga. <laughs> hey, hey, who knows? You know, it's possible. Who knows? It's possible. I would be a ghost. That would be cool. Like, I don't know if Is ghosts it, are though? real. It, you're just like a wind. You just get blown like here and but here. You, but like, and now you just want to do this. That's the only way you can make people pay attention to you. You do that and but you would like, yo. I'm not know. mad at being able to make noise when I want to and go to the store, take a shit. But you don't just like, you don't, you don't ever just like open some cabinets. And just the leave house. them shit? Yeah, just like. I, I, I was in someone's uh, Airbnb, like Coachella situation. We was in there, just went on ahead and put the dining room tables on top of the Table, right. weird psychological. Yeah, <laughs> like CIA shit. Just like, knowing, letting a nigga know that they're, they're touchable. <laughs> you just go in and gaslight. Sometimes you just got a gaslight on a whim. <laughs> oh, wow. One time a girl sent me a nude and then asked me if we were in a simulation. I would put the phone down. That's so fucked up. It was weird. There's so many different ways to feel at once. Yeah, it was whiplash. I couldn't even answer the question. And we in a simulate. Hey, I'm putting the phone down. Yeah. I'm putting that phone down, bro. Respond. That's crazy as hell. Yeah. What Are we in a simulation pisses me off, bro. I can't. Yeah. No one who has like been to jail or like jumped or like punched in the face hard as shit is like, is this a simulation? You, there, uh, there's such hard evidence. <laughs> there is such hard evidence to support that this is not a simulation. You get beat up one time and that's it. That's that enough. shit is real as fuck for yeah. days th th to come. Is th I haven't even been punched in the face that much, but and it's enough. You, and that shit is... It's enough. Yeah. Yeah. I think people think it's like a computer, like you're literally in a computer. Yeah. But I think it's like... It's like the media is eating its own tail, you know what I mean? And we're just mm. responding to shit that we see that's based on shit that they saw. And then. Oh, it so just it's an echo chamber. It's an echo chamber. Is there an echo chamber? Absolutely. Yeah. And do we develop patterns based on shit that's not even relevant when you look at it? I, I would say, yeah. I'm thinking about all the people that like really got into Harambe. People right. were really into this monkey. It was a big deal. It was a big deal, but it was like. Not a big deal in the way they thought. In America, it had the the pull of just humor-wise. It had the pull of it being exotica, mm -hmm. harambe. Yeah. So it's already funny, right? Yeah. You're like harambe. So just a bunch of white kids like we're harambe, harambe. And niggas uh -huh. is like, Whoa. I'm just saying harambe is some racist shit. That's what yeah. You think it like gave them an excuse to make fun of like a. Yeah. Funny African sounding thing. Bro, I still be clocking is. that shit. People swear we've like advanced so far. And yeah. People still get excited when something is like, what? Like, what is this? Yeah, Dude. right. Harambe. I still pick up on that when like, you know, I'm at comedy shows a lot. And, like white comedians still make fun of jazz a lot. Like it's a stupid thing. I'm just like, okay, go listen to like Grateful Dead or something. Yeah. Like, you know. That shit is just jazz that pretends it's not. I don't know. You know. Grateful Dead, I feel like I've never heard one Grateful Dead song in my life. I've seen so much Grateful Dead. 
I've heard, merch. I've heard so many Grateful Dead tour stories, and I've never fucking heard a Grateful Dead song in my life. Shout out to Grateful fucking Dead, man. I've heard a surprising amount of Grateful Dead really? songs. Really? Yeah. Do you know them? I wish I could tell you. No. What do they sound like? A little bit like. Do it. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> that's you know what my guess was gonna be. Yeah, that's like, exactly. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's a little bit of that. Just like three hundred thousand niggas on the side of a hill. Nigga. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was getting too close to a real one. I almost became uh, sincere for a second. That was really good. I'd hate for that to happen. You wanna do a lightning round? Yeah. All right, real quick. Earth, you think it's flat or round? Both. I would've said cube. You think Britney is free or in a prison of her own making? Is she in jail though? Because she did try to run up, or there was the situation with Vic mm -hmm. Wimbayama uh, security. They said she ran up on that nigga in a British accent. <laughs> Free Brit. Uh, free Britney? Yeah. Yeah, I, w I have to tell myself to be like very supportive because shit, I done seen some shit that scared me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel, you know what I mean? Yeah. But shit gets scary out shit here. Shit gets scary. I don't know what she's going through. You think God is a man or just. Uh, like a full dude? Yeah, just a dude or like a, uh, a, a formless consciousness that invalidates the need for gender designation. I think, <coughs> I think God got it all. I think that's real. That cup is God. It's dense. All right, last one. Does ACAB include Carl Winslow? <laughs> I guess. Does it include like iced tea? I guess it does. I guess it does. That's crazy, bro. It is all. Oh. Yeah. Shaquille O'Neal. Oh, he was a sheriff in real life. Yeah. Yeah. He's in every commercial. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. I don't know. How, how does he have time? He worked like he, like, like, really still needs, like, a lot of money. He's always out buying ladies' laptops on the street. That's hard. I got a lot of respect for that part. Where did that happen? I'll just see a video every now and then where he's like, I bought this lady a laptop. <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> I saw it in the line at Walmart. I just went on ahead and uh, bought the laptop. Her car didn't swipe, so I bought the laptop. <laughs> I think Shaq is really big in China. He's really big everywhere. <laughs> and we're back. All right. What do you think about aliens? You think they're, I, I don't know, they're making a big deal about the alien stuff. I, I feel like that's because the world is on fire. Yeah. There's so much shit happening. See, my fear is like, they're using it as a distraction, but also it's true. But know? I feel like niggas got excited and didn't look at the article. I feel like the article yeah. was like, yo, a retired nigga from NASA is being a retired nigga from NASA. Yeah. Which is just being like, they're out there. <laughs> Trust me, I've seen it. But like, what if though? There and is. well, they didn't say, and they didn't say aliens. They said, you know, it's just craft just or whatever. Stuff. I've seen stuff. You seen stuff? It was like a huge thing in Los Angeles. It wasn't just us. We didn't just see it. It was like the whole Los Angeles. Yeah. The story is, my friend runs into the studio, and it's just like, boom. And we're thinking we're getting robbed or some shit. So everyone like runs out of the the thing and go outside and look up. It was like all on the news. It was all over the internet. The shit did some shit I've never seen anything do before. It was like, I can't explain it. Yeah. I feel like it's not that big of a deal to be like, it's alien. We, we yeah. are on a floating fucking well, thing. I'm not as concerned that about there being aliens. I'm more like, how have we responded to, how has the government responded to aliens, you know? I feel like I them niggas are so scared. 
Yeah, to that's kind of where I'm at. To have that be a dirty secret. Yeah. Like, actually, bitch, I'm mortified of yeah. extraterrestrials. That's kind of where I'm at with it. Yeah, the government has more of a reason to be scared of aliens than I do. Yeah, because, like, what did you do? Yeah, they be fucking around too much. Aliens might be like, really, what? Yeah, they probably like rap. Yeah, we would right. show them some shit. Yeah. I got the, this hat. Yeah. They would love that hat. Right. Yeah. yeah. That versus the experience of like Mitch fucking with the face. Oh, McConnell. Yeah, Mitch McConnell. McConnell. He don't know what to do with no aliens. No. Nah. That nigga gonna freeze up. No. Nah. He's not about that action. No. Nah. Yeah. What if it's just like us coming back from the future? Damn, so you're saying like some point we figure out space travel. Yeah. Things go so far forward in time that they're like, yeah, we gotta like Rick and Morty might like gotta come like right. Yeah. Like, I'm yeah, gonna tell you we one gotta thing go back right Morty. now. If I came off of an aircraft and I saw me come off of an aircraft, I'm gonna kill that nigga. <laughs> No questions asked. I always say this. If me walks through the door right now, no words on sight, he's out of here. I know I know enough about him. Because you said that, the other you would get killed and he would understand. And he would be like, I always like, knew. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I knew it would be like this. I always said. That shit would ruin it for me. That shit would ruin it for me. If me didn't put up a fight against me, like, you were, you, this was written for... Uh, it's kind of like you going and you, you like, trying to die. That's whoa. you, that's you at the end of your rope. That's me when I'm giving up? Yeah. Let me go back to him. Let me go back to my maker. Honor kill me. Yeah. Hell no. Nah. I know him. He not gonna do that. This nigga's gonna try and... Yeah, like me. that's why you haven't seen him yet. I'm not born with this guy. I didn't grow up with this guy that's literally me, and he walks through the door. That is very untrustworthy. Yeah. Where are you from? Right. But you think he could fight? I'm not about to find out. I'm about to kill that nigga, man. I respect that. I respect that. Like, what if he was a... Oh, uh-huh. that's all good. Okay, we'll just sit in this moment. Super bad. Apparently, funniest movie in history. Huh. Super bad. Really? According to the news. <laughs> I don't know how they measured that. That's crazy. Yeah. The funniest movie ever? Yeah. <laughs> I seen you fucking can't. what's his name from Off the Office? Fucking Toby. Oh, On yeah. the plane. So bummed. Like, Damn. he was like being Toby in real life. Oh, like, that's. He was like, I, sat on a, I sat next to Dulé Hill on a plane one time. Who? You ever seen Holes? Yes. Sam. He's also Gus from Psych. I didn't really watch Psych. Oh, this nigga, man. Yeah, I can what, fix that. Very iconic, but I could fix that. I could fix that. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like it I can a, fix that. That was, always made yeah. me feel weird as shit. Yeah, it was a weird yeah, character. Yeah, some peaches miss. Maybe fix the position you're fix in in life. Fix bro. your life. Yeah, yeah, bro. It was when That's niggas cool, coming bro. in the door like this everywhere. <laughs> Ma'am? Ma'am? I could. Yes, em. They say yes, em. Yes, em is crazy. Yes, em. Yeah. Damn. Your new father. How's that going? He just sung me a song that I think he wrote. It That's was, amazing. Shit's getting deep. Yeah. He's deep. Is it scary having a son in a world where Pusha T is just lurking around? <laughs> oh. To reveal it many times. No, I, that's why I had to bring him to the forefront, bro. Yeah. Like Pusha could not f- find this baby and right. expose this baby to her. Setting yourself up for failure. If your baby gets exposed, yeah. you just got to be honest. Are we exposing the baby? Right. It's a dangerous landscape out here. Yeah. I feel like it's got to be scary raising a child in a world where anybody can start a podcast. Someone asked me the other day, was like, what you want to do like, when he come home? And it's like, yo, I'm, I'm about pops, I'm setting up this stream. I say to my friend, like, fuck no, I'm shutting this nigga down. There's no streaming in my shit. He's like, yeah, what about when he's pulling in like 40 bands? Then what do you do? 
I'm that guy, bro. I'm that curmudgeon dad, bro. I've already decided I'm going to be that one annoying guy that's like, yeah. I don't care. No, I respect that. I'm trying to be more curmudgeonly. I feel like we don't make enough space for that mentality. I feel like we 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 curmudgeon around this motherfucker, man. I feel like niggas is like, but like you call this a bagel, like you. But like, there's no like, I don't know, like an ethical curmudgeon. You know what I mean? Like they got ethical non-monogamy. I feel like there should be ethical curmudgeonry. Who's the ethical curmudgeon? Larry David. I said this is the first one that comes to mind. Is he ethical? Yeah, see, that's where the tough part is. I feel like he wants to be. He thinks he is. That's a huge part of being a curmudgeon. That's a part of being a curmudgeon is you think you are. You got it all figured out. Say Tony Yeo. Super ethical. Super ethical curmudgeon. Charleston White. (laughs) Very unethical curmudgeon. I feel like last year there was like a huge two arms of like the black philosophical mind concerning and like interesting. Uh-huh. It's like Kevin Gates and Charleston White. Oh. There's a lot of ideas that was coming from the men last year that was... Is Kevin Gates okay? I, I would think so. Yeah. I, I, ask Kevin Gates, nigga. He seemed like he's doing very well. I seen a video, bro, a couple years ago, a music video, on the jump. Mm-hmm. He's foot racing the, the girl. Yeah. He like very much won that foot race. Well, see, that sounds like he's doing well athletically. Happy heart. <laughs> Gotta be smart. Happy, happy heart. Happy heart. Happy heart is happy. where the art starts. Happy heart. Happy heart. Happy heart. Fast start. Fast start. Fast start. Fast start. Fast start. Mm. Mm. There it is. I feel like we did something there. You gonna do a tiny desk? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I was about to say, I don't know niggas that play saxophone, but... I know a couple niggas. I could, I could, I could give you some phone numbers. Just me and a, and a sax player at the time? Yeah. Day. That'd be kind of hard. That'd be kind of hard if you could play a whole one of your beats on just a saxophone? That shit would be one of the most chaotic things of all time. I would gain a lot of respect for that person, though. What, has anyone been to Tiny Desk? Is, is there literally like 17 people? They like work at the library? I feel like they didn't know the words to them juvenile songs. They did not know the words to them juvenile songs. Yeah, because the energy changed when he, when he said, uh, he said, girl, I like pussy, but I ain't gonna lick it. And you could feel they felt was, like they made a mistake. It was like, they were like, wait. It's very sexually forward. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You think we have free will? I do think we got free will. Yeah? I think we have free will. I think environment and experience can control what might make you make a decision or control your preference. You think Will Smith felt free when he slapped Chris Rock? I think he felt like a caged bird when he slapped Chris Rock. (laughs) I think he felt the opposite of free will. I think he felt cornered when he slapped Chris Rock. That was a very painful move. You could feel his agency leaving his body mm-hmm. a little bit. Maybe he, in a sense, he died a little bit in that moment. He became less real. Was it an ego death? Did he throw away all the scruples? Did he come out of his body? Did he like let himself be a channel for like vengeance? Mm. I feel like maybe his ego came back to life in that moment. Just sprung back to it's life. It's all ego. It's all ego. It's all huge, yeah. huge ego. Like I'm about to, we about to wrap this like, up. Like I'm hurt right now. Yeah. I'm hurt right now. Watch it, like. Yeah. All right, I feel like it's time for, uh, we could do uh, our last question here. Do you think we have an inherent purpose on earth? Or we just, we just make our own meaning and we just have to do it forever. We just have to make and remake meaning for our lives to justify our existence. Mm, I think the purpose, life or creation is to be like if it if it was a thing that was uh, undifferentiated like consciousness, and that's what I was saying at the beginning. It's like that seems like the thing that's a step b- above like a nirvana state. It's like undifferentiated consciousness, but that also, as people that wake up and have lives and love and ups and downs and shit, 
we know how fun this shit is. At the end of the day, no matter how like low the dip is, you're still like on a ride. Yeah. So I feel like the purpose of living is for sure to like be, to have these experience, to to live and, and be and um, get back home, mm-hmm. so to speak. You know what I mean? Because if we all come from like a, a, if we all come from something, then we're all at a point now, and it's on a way back. You know what I mean? Going home at some point. I think it's to get money. Mm-hmm.